Listen, continuing on with our week of medical miracles, today we're joined by a man who was told by doctors he only had a few months to live. But he was given a second chance at life last month thanks to a heart transplant from a dead man. Welcome, Dave. So, Dave, start us off by telling us what your condition was that made it so critical that you take the heart from a dead man. Uh, well, I contracted cardiomyopathy. Mm. Uh, the only hope for people that have that is for a transplant. Well, fortunately for you, you got that transplant after Greg Halton, a father of six, was tragically struck down in a car accident. Luckily, Greg didn't die in that accident right away. Right. He hung on to that slender reed of life long enough that he could make it to the hospital and they could cut that heart out of his chest and you could have it. Did you know Greg, by the way, yeah. uh, in life? No, no, I, I didn't. Oh, that's too bad, because mm. by all accounts, uh, he was one of the most remarkable human beings that ever lived. Greg was very active in raising money for children with MS. Do you do any charity work? Uh, well, I, um, I give my daughter canned goods for her uh, right. school's uh, annual food drive. Mm -hmm. Well, has it changed you in any way? I mean, within your body beats the heart of this magnanimous, wonderful human being. To be honest, I don't think of it as... Greg's heart. Uh, well, I guess to you it could be just any dead guy's heart. Just what's important is that no. you get to get up out of bed and, and go on with your life. No, no, it's not that. I mean, I'm very grateful for the donation. Um, I would have liked to have thanked him, but... Yeah. Sure. Well, you may not be able to thank Greg in person, but you can thank those close to him because joining us via satellite is Megan Halton, the dead man's widow. Megan, are you there? Yes. Hello. Those are the eyes of the woman who loved the heart that beats in your chest right now. This must be uh, almost a magical moment uh, for the two of you. Do you have anything to say to this grieving widow uh, after you've taken her dead husband's heart and had it installed in your own chest? Um, thank you. I'm very, very grateful. You're leaving something for, out there, Dave. For the heart. Yeah, for the yes. heart. For your dead husband's heart. I'm just happy that Greg's heart has brought somebody else life. That is so generous and so wonderful. So Obviously, this family was blessed with two incredibly giving, wonderful hearts. Watch out, Megan. There are people like Dave here who may be after your heart. Well, that's all the time for our Medical Miracles segment. But don't go away because we're going to be throwing knives at uh, child magicians. You don't want to miss that. I can't wait for that. that. Yeah, me neither. Okay, stay tuned.